Hello my crafty friends. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to crochet this easy crochet project bag. Now isn't this cute? This is one of my old crochet project bags. As you can see it's a little bit dingy. I did try to wipe it down with some wipies. Didn't have time to wash it. It, it's made out of um, cotton, medium four weight yarn. This is my one of my favorite bags because you can put um, you can put some s um, small projects in here and take it along with you to uh, your doctor's appointments. I just love this one. Um, and then I have, like, I put some beads at the ends of the string. It's like a pool. Just like that. It's one of my favorites. This is what we're going to make today. And it's very easy. It's all double crochet. Um, in the beginning, it will be... Um, sing, single crochet and we'll be doing um, front posts up here and we'll be doing all as well um, right here if you can see we'll be doing um, shells right so it's very easy and don't worry for the beginners I'm gonna go nice and slow okay so let's get busy and I'm going to tell you with all the materials that we need. Let me put this away. This is what the back looks like. All right. And we're going to be working in rounds. All right. So there's no um, sewing or anything, putting together. You see how the bottom part, it looks almost looks like it's sewed, but it's not. So let's put this to the side. I had to put this here because since this is purple. All right, so I'm going to be working with this one because I like I like using cotton because um, it's very durable. So I'm going to be using peaches and cream. But you can use any yarn that you have. It doesn't really matter. Um, anything. You can even, like, this kind of yarn. Four-weight yarn. I like using four-weight yarn. This is four-weight yarn as well. Four-weight medium yarn. All right. So, um, this one. See? Four-weight medium yarn. And the crochet hook that we're going to be using is... Hold on. Put this aside. Is five millimeter the H hook and put it up close so you can see it. And you have that. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me tell you um, information about this. Okay, this here is 706 yards, 645 meters and 14 ounces and 400 grams and let me see what else i'm trying to see oh it's 100 percent cotton and it says made in in canada and the crochet hook like i said it's five millimeter and the uh, Knitting needle is 4.5 millimeter. And you can wash this. So, let me put this to the side. You'll need some scissors. Um, tapestry needle. And any kind of big beads. 
if you have it. If not, it's fine. You don't have to put it. I just thought it'll give it a, a nice little cute little look. I got this from um, where I volunteer. You see the um, the hole? It's pretty big. So two of them, one for each side for the cha the the chain that we're gonna be doing. Oh, I'm gonna show you this real quick. If I don't know if you all seen the video of the Sunday video that I posted. I got this from the Open Street um, Festival. Now, isn't this cute? This was handmade. Um, this man made this handmade. And he takes this to Guatemala. And he donates the money for the children there. Look at the bottom part. I had to get it. I... I got his business card. I will put his information down in the description box if you want to like get some of this cuteness. Now, isn't that cute? I just love turtles. I just had to put them there to hold my beads in the middle. You can hang him or whatever you want. Yeah, he makes them and he donates them. Donates the money to the children from Guatemala. I thought it was cute. So check that video out. It's new. I posted it up yesterday. All right, let's, what else do we need? I think that's it. Yeah, so let's get started. Let me open this up. Trying to find the beginning. <laughs> oh, I'm still a little bit tired from last week and from Sunday. It's okay. Little by little, I'll do okay. I don't know where this thing is so so humongous. I don't know where to put it. I'm gonna have to put it right there. Okay, let's go. I need to stop saying okay. <laughs> I don't know why I say that. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's get busy. All right. Let's do a slip knot. I know you guys all know how to do that. I hope I can get, I hope I don't have part two in this video. I'll try to do like some on and some off the, the camera, that way it's not too long. All right, let me get my pattern. I had to write it down. Okay. Let me turn the page. All right, we're going to be doing, let me put these guys a little bit closer. All right, can you see me now? <laughs> All right, let me make sure I'm in the camera. All right, we're going to be doing 30 chains. All right, let me see, get the right one here. So, and please don't do it too tight because then you can't get in there. Nice and loose, 30 chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 30 chains just like that. Nice and loose and I'll, I'll be right with you as soon as I get mine's done. All right, I have 30. And okay, I almost forgot to tell you the most important thing. We need some stitch markers. 
I'm so tired that I don't remember. Okay, I have these kind, and if you don't have those, I got. I think I got these from Amazon. They had like a like a big pack. I'll put this in the description box below. Um, and if you don't have that, if you have like a, uh, you know how when you buy trash bags or sandwich bags, they have these. You just peel it. And this is a stitch marker as well. See, you fold it and there you have it, a stitch marker. I have a whole bunch of these. This is how I started. I don't care. If you can't afford it, this this is how I can afford it. Simple as that. And then if you don't have that, a piece of yarn. Very simple. Yeah, you don't need those fancy um, stitch markers. I, you know, I bought these uh, when I had my allowance to try them out. I kind of like them, but I had I had went and got I went and started using these when I didn't, you know, had the money for the other ones. So and that's that. So you need some stitch markers because we're gonna be marking where. The beginning of the our work okay so, because we will be going in rounds on this project so let's get started and hold on I'm just trying to get this untangled here I'm sorry I'm just so tired right now I'm still tired from Sunday and running around taking care of the the house, husband, fur babies, you name it, YouTube, but I love it. Don't, don't get me wrong, I love it. I love keeping busy. Hold on, let me fix this. Okay, maybe. that's 30. Okay. So, so we're going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook. One, two, put your hook right in there. And right there you'll see the the little V. Yarn over, get the yarn, pull it through the chain, and then you'll have two loops on your on your um hook. Yarn over and pull it through both loops. And there is your single crochet. And the reason I'm saying that is for the beginners. All right, so now we are going to single crochet in each chain all the way to the end. So we're going to fill up all this with single crochets all the way to the end so let's get going with that so the next chain the next uh, single crochet will be right here in the next one oops sorry a little bit slippery to the next one with a single crochet just like that and then you go to the next one very simple the single crochet that's all you're going to be doing filling up each chain with a single crochet just like that Just pulling it in. So, I will meet you at the end, all the way, right there, 
and make sure you don't twist your chain. Keep it straight. So I'll meet you at the end. All right. We're at the end. Let's count. And I'm gonna show you something that you're probably like, wait, I only had this amount. Hold on a second. So right here, you're going to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. And you're like wondering, oh, I only got twenty-nine. Uh, no, you don't. See that little stubby little thing there? That's your thirty. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna shove that that <laughs> you're gonna shove that hook in there. And that's gonna be your 30. So this is what you're gonna do. That's why I told you that don't crochet, don't make those chains too tight. Put it right in there. See? I put it right in that little stubby little thing. And that is your 30. Hold on, let me take it out because you probably like, where did she put that? Okay. I'm going to show you again. But there's your 29. You see that little stubby little thing right there? That's your 30. Put your hook in there. If you need to loosen it up, loosen it up. Get it in there. And that is your 30. See? 30. Now you have 30 single crochets. So the next step is a second here. We're going to I'm trying to see something here. Okay, where's that? All right, we're going to now, now that we have 30, we're going to, let me see my, my notes. Hold on a second. All right, we did all this. Okay, we did single, single, single crochet all the way to the end. Okay, now we're going to put another single crochet in that same last um, um, chain at the end, right here. We're gonna do one more. Let me get myself comfortable here. We're gonna put one more right there. like that so now you're gonna turn your work slightly and what we're gonna do is right here we're going to underneath the chain we're going to fill up all that underneath the chain all that right there All the way to the end right there so I'm going to show you real quick here 
I think I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna hide this too at the same at the same time. So, right here, I'm gonna go underneath the chain and go in there and make a single crochet. It might be tight, but just put it in there. See. It's gonna form that little. Oh, it's gonna form that little. How you call that? That's that curve form. I don't know if you can see that. You see how it's curving? Cause we're going, we're going underneath. We were up here on top, so now we're going underneath the chain, and we're going to fill. I don't know if you can see that. We want to fill up these little loops underneath the chain. With single crochet. That's what we're going to be doing. So now I'm going to the next one right there. Right here. See what I did? Right there. And we're going to put another single crochet there. Okay, I'm going to show you. because I'm thinking that these guys are probably confused. All right, it's for the beginners. You see this right here? This is underneath the chain. We're putting single crochets underneath here. And right here. And right here. And right here. That's underneath the chain. We're gonna be filling up all that underneath the chain all the way to the end right there that's what we're going to be doing i'm going to get all this stuff out of the way because this is like really bothering me okay much better so let's do this oops mine's came out I'm gonna have to do a part two. It's because uh, I wanna explain slowly to the beginners. You know, I don't want them to feel left out. Because I remember when I was a beginner, I always felt left out. And I was, I was always upset about that. So that's why you see me doing everything nice and slow, you know, so that way they understand what's going on. It's not fair to them that we all know what's going on and we're crocheting fast and they're like wondering what's going on. So now we're going to the next one right there with a single crochet underneath the, the chain. So there's like a loop there. And it's, that's all you're going to be doing. It's just filling them up with single crochet. And you go to the next one. That's why I, I told you make sure you do those chains nice and loose. And you just go to the next one. See? You see how it's forming? That's what it's going to look like. So now I want you to go fill each one all the way to the end. Right there. You gotta like move it around. That's the end right there. And I'll meet you there. You fill all of them up with single crochets all the way to the end. And I'll meet you there. All right. We're at the end. Right here. And now we're going to put another single crochet right there at the end.
just like that so now right there is our beginning so you break out with that stitch marker a piece of yarn or uh, or one of these whatever you can find okay let me see anything anything that you can find to mark it so we're going to um put another right there we're going to put a single crochet so get that stitch marker ready because right there is your beginning so we're going to put a single crochet right there it's it's to, okay yeah I, i'm like am i doing this right yeah put a single crochet right there And right there is your beginning. It's a stitch marker. Let me get this out. I'm sorry that I'm mumbling. and It's because I'm very exhausted. So right there is your beginning. So I'm going to put that stitch marker right there. And every time we move up, we're going to be putting, we're going to be moving the stitch marker as well. Is that's just to remind us where where the beginning is. So now we're gonna start doing the double crochets and smooth sailing all the way. We're gonna be doing um, let me see how many. Where's that? What did I do with? We're gonna be doing 15 rows. I'm trying to find the bag. I have no clue what I did because my husband came through here. And can you believe he just went and stepped over, stepped, <laughs> he stepped over everything. I'm like, what are you doing? He goes, well, you're in the way. I said, well, this is where I have to record because my back is hurting me. And it's, let me count it. I just want to make sure that that's the right count. So we did. One, two, okay. And right here is, right here. Is the two of this right here so here's the um here's the double crochet so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen yeah fifteen we're gonna be doing fifteen rounds of double crochet so let's get going with that So now that's the beginning so we're not gonna be attaching anything we're just gonna keep going round and around and around so now yarn over I'm sorry I, I thought I had I thought somebody was calling me and we already did right there a a single uh, crochet and we're going to do in the next one right here a um, double crochet let me put this up closer so you can see there is that better I hope I'm not too close so right here Right there, we're gonna do a double crochet. If you need to open it up, do so. Right there, we're gonna do a double crochet. My eyes are going googly because I'm so tired. And then we're gonna be filling up all this, all these stitches with double crochet up to right there to the end. Very simple. So that's all you do. You fill each one with double crochet. I'm sorry that I'm out of frame. Right 
with double crochet and that's all you do I try to make my pattern simple now I have this other stuff that I'm trying to get going that it might it might be intermediate I have this um, blouse that I'm working on. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. It, it and it's intermediate. I'm sorry, but I will. I'm I'm gonna work on some kind of blouse for the beginners. Don't worry, beginners. Don't don't get scared. I'll I'll do something nice for you guys. But there's this blouse that I'm working on. It's taking time, but once I'm done with the pattern and and everything I'll do a video on that because I have this other stuff going on too that I gotta do first all right now all we're doing is uh, filling each stitch with a uh, double crochet that's all we're doing I'm sorry. I'm out of frame again. I'm trying to stay in frame. It's hard, you know that? Because you're looking at you're looking over there, and then over here. So you're looking everywhere, <laughs> and you're trying to watch this at the same time. It's trying to crochet and look at. Oh my god! But it's fun though. All right, see, just like that. And you're going to be filling each stitch all the way right there. Right there. And I will meet you at the end. Okay, now my, my fur babies are acting out. I have to watch them, make sure they don't get in the camera. Hey, no. Right, we're at the end right there and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go around this way so we're gonna be turning our work like that remember we're just going in rounds so we're here so we're gonna do another double crochet right there and slowly we're gonna be turning our work like that and we're just gonna keep going around um, doing double crochet so the next double crochet is if you pull it we're going right there that's the next one and it's gonna start curling up and that's what we're looking for okay so don't get scared oh my god it's curling up no that's what we're looking for and I wish oh, let me see what did I I wanted to show you the sample because I'm doing this other one. All right, let me show you the sample. We're right here in this down here. So it'll start curling up like this. Like that. See? That's what it's going to start looking like. It's going to start curling up. Like that and as you work around and around and around it's gonna go it's gonna start going up it's gonna start going up all right this one this one I'm working on another um project bag and this is gonna be very pretty I'm gonna be putting up uh, like a flower in the middle after I'm done with this one so that's what's gonna start looking like All right, let's get busy. So let's do that double crochet right there. That noise that you're hearing, it's um, Saffron Ishii's uh, eating a chew toy. Sorry about that. So now we did one right there. So now we're gonna turn our work like this. And we're gonna keep going. We're gonna do another double crochet there and here, and we're gonna fill all this up with double crochets. 
and that's when it's gonna start curling up so don't be afraid about that Now we're going to do a double crochet right there. You see how I'm turning it? You just keep going, filling each stitch with double crochets. You see how it's curling up? And that's what we're looking for. And just keep going filling each stitch with double crochet very simple right so this is what's gonna it's gonna start looking like hold on it's gonna start looking like that It's gonna start folding up. So you're gonna be doing double crochets in each stitch all the way to the end, right there. Right here. If I pull it, you're gonna be doing it right there. And I will meet you there, okay? So it's double crochet in each stitch all the way to the end and I'll meet you there all right now we're at the end right there so what we're gonna do we're gonna put a double crochet right here open it up so you can see right there and then one right here near this the stitch marker and we're gonna turn our work like this all right so let's yarn over and we're gonna put one right here right there like that and you're gonna turn your work slowly and you're gonna put one hold on you're gonna put one right here in this little spot right there a double crochet so yarn over you're gonna put one right here just like that Turn your work slightly. Remove the stitch marker, whatever kind of stitch marker you have in there. And we're gonna put it right back, okay? Because we're going as you're as you're crocheting up, you're gonna keep putting it in the same spot. Wait. Oh, she just bumped me, my cat. <laughs> she don't care. So now we're gonna put a, a single crochet. I mean single crochet, a double crochet right there at the beginning, right here. It's going to start curling up, so remember, don't worry about that. That's what we're looking for. And we're going to put another single crochet right here, and then we're going to put the, the stitch marker back in the beginning. Our beginning is right there remember we had it right there so now follow along all the way up and you're going to put it right there because this is our beginning oops so put it right back that way we know where the beginning is 
Remember, always put it back. Oops, did I just... Okay, hold on a second. I just put it... There we go. Like that. That's our beginning. So now we're just going to turn our work. And we're going to keep going and putting single... I mean single, double crochets in each stitch. You see how easy this is? And just keep filling it in. Remember we're doing um, 15 rows. And with that stitch marker, that's how you know how you know you have 15 rows or not. And that's all you're doing is just keep filling it in. And very simple. Alright, so now I'm going to show you. See, that's what it starts to look like. There's our beginning right there. You see how it starts to fold up? That's what it's supposed to look like. So, you start counting the 15 rows with the double crochet. So far, we have this row right here is one. And that one right there is number two. Uh-oh, she's trying to come in. No saffron. You stay there, mama. Oh, she can't hear me. I keep forgetting. I feel like I, I'm not being cruel. I'm just trying to push her a little bit. That way she knows that she has to stay there. So, so far we have one, two rows. Now, what I want you to do, keep going up to 15 rows. And I'm going to let you go and do that. All right? So, do 15 rows. So, so far we got one, two. So we need, um, <laughs> she's being bad. So we, we did 15 rows, so we need, what, 13 more rows. All right. I'm going to let you go and do that. And I'm going to do my 15, my 15 rows, or 13 rows, so that's left. And I'll meet you there. All right. I don't want you guys to get confused. I'm like, let me make sure I, they know what they're doing. Oh, she just done, she just jumped over my head. I'm telling you, my fur babies are going crazy. All right, before I let you go, you're going to be doing double crochets all the way around. Like that. All the way around. All the way around. Right here. Double crochet, double crochet, double crochet, double crochet in each stitch. It's going to start curling up, and that's what we're looking for. Remember, you just keep going all the way around. And as you do that, make sure you take that stitch and move it up in the same spot. But that is your beginning. And all we have left is, what, 13 um, rounds. So I'm going to let you go and, do, and let you do your work. I'll meet you there. Okay, guys, I have completed my 15 rounds, so let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Same thing on the other side. And I have ran out of time, so I have to do a part 2, so we can do the other... Part, so I'm going to show you the other part that we're going to do. In part two, we are going to do... We're going to do the... Oops. We're going to do the front post. And we're also going to do the shells on the top, the border. And we're also going to do the chain with the beads, okay? So, I will see you in part two. If you have any questions, concerns, you put it in the comments below. And if you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button and the uh, first bell notification so you can see all my videos. 
and you stay crafty and you stay safe guys love you guys and i'll see you in part two bye